I'm originally from Philadelphia. Um, I moved here 10 years ago to go to Pratt Institute. I think that I was artistic since, with my lifestyle since I was little. Um, I, my parents actually thought I was crazy because I would always play make-believe and dress up all the time and I was definitely in my own world. Um, but then they realized just the way I was. Well, in school, I think I was more popular for being unpopular than anything else. Picture I that. was weird. Like, I dressed crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I wore, like, you know, bell bottoms and stuff, like, you know, or just crazy stuff. I had pink hair for a little bit. Everyone was so preppy, and it was preppy world. And um, everyone was just wearing, you know, Gap. Mm. I, on the other hand, you know, I... I, it wasn't that weird. I mean, I went to Antique Boutique in New York, and I, I even shopped at Patricia Field. Like, I had some crazy style. Yeah, yeah. But and not. I was like into theater, and I, right. I hung out with my theater table. With, we were right next to the Star Trek table. It was really awesome. It's so funny, yeah. isn't it? And so we would put on plays and create costumes. And then I got really into music and theater, and I was doing acting when I was a child, coming to New York for auditions doing that, but then that was really distracting with school, so I ended up going more into painting and sculpture. And exactly what I went to do. Take all the creativity with um, my love of like growing up of all my influences with, with theater and music and, and uh, mm -hmm. painting and, and art and just taking all those elements together, creating clothing that told a story. Like for example, like this boat dress. Like I feel like I should be away on a sailboat somewhere. You know, exploring. I really do a lot of research before designing a collection. I'll um, really immerse myself into reading like amazing books and watching films and just um, drawing and you know lucidly. I read like you know Franny and Zoe for example for my next season. I'm, I'm trying to you know get this kind of like somewhat bohemian, somewhat like glamorous aspect into um, uh, clothes that I want to wear. Um, but for, for this collection in, in particular, I was taking a lot of road trips with friends to upstate New York for the weekends and um, wanted to create a collection that could like fit into a suitcase and um, have a feeling of, you know, really great stuff for when you discover a magical waterfall. So my hat is from Mala Landis. Um, she actually wore it on a plane back from Sweden. She told me, I love how everything in her shop has a story behind it. She, this um, dress comes from my grandmother, and she is a huge inspiration in my life. Um, just everything about her aesthetic, I feel inspiring to me. Um, her house is like filled with amazing little trinkets and artwork from her travels around the world. I was over there last weekend, and she was wearing tie-dyed leggings with a big oversized black cardigan. Um, she's like, ah, oh, I'm a little old to be wearing the dress that I'm wearing now. You have your, you know, why don't you take it off my hands? So I was like, oh my god. I got this um, vintage swimsuit at Brimfield Flea Market, Massachusetts. I'm not really like into wearing like a string bikini because I'm a little bit more modest than that. Um, I don't know, I just feel like like I could wear this all day. Just go to the beach and then let it dry and then walk around. My friend uh, Leon Ben, who I grew up with since I was two years old, my next door neighbor, my wedding present to Patrick, he painted us this amazing mural um, just so we can have a little bit more green, not that we have enough already from the garden, but um, as you can, in, in the mural there's like cute things you can see, it's very trippy. There's a little gnome fishing, there's like a little, a little sheep, um, and he, I showed him all my images from my travels and the sheep is actually his picture sheet that we found in Norway. So I love reading. I love Charles Dickens books. So I, I was living in London for about six months, and that was. I guess it came out of that home experience. Really. You really like stay away from too much fashion content. I read National Geographic, and um, mm -hmm. I love reading about. You know, I, I love magazines like Dossier, and so I can get like a cultural read interviews with artists, and, and that's really what I like to find influenced by. This is a, a piece from my fall 2008 collection. The floral blouse. Inspired by? What? Inspired by um, 90s. And the hat I found at the Vintage Fair in New York. There's, I love blazers. I love menswear inspired clothing. Um, you know, I, I think that I love like influence from military uniforms. Like men. And menswear also wears so well. Like You can have it for years and it'll kind of start falling apart but in a really good way. Just break in. So definitely a big influence. Um, Diane Keaton 
it's just funny, and I love her style and all of her films. So I wanted an actress to play me if like we had traded places or something for like 20 years, 30 years. I would, that would be who I would pick for sure. Who is? Twin Peaks, the TV show. Uh, Amelia Earhart. Hmm. Just lots of like really inspiring characters. Sort of these very kind of iconic, defined, iconic, timeless. Timeless, exciting to me. And I always do um, these films every season to show my collection. People are definitely making a lot more film fashion shows. I think it's great. What you a great really, idea. You really understand the aesthetic of the collection and what the designer is trying to show. Just kind of after graduating school, I just moved at a pace where it was just people, I was making my own clothes going to stores, shopping at the time and, that I loved. And they were like, oh, this is cute. Can you make one for the store? That's how it really happens. I think I'm probably pretty much pretty easygoing because I feel that when you work hard at something, things kind of move along at their own pace and happen organically. You can't fight it. You just have to kind of go with it because you're, so you're very you're trusting. Doing something new. Well, you're doing something, yeah. You're doing something new and I feel, I don't want to follow anybody else's steps and want to create my own nation. I feel that when people get dressed in the morning, you don't really know what's going to happen in your day. And you should dress for a little bit of an adventure. Or a big one.